I am an atheist. I feel this is an important detail to be understood for why I'm also a feminist. I was a feminist long before I became an atheist, which is why I feel I don't typically fall into the new femme flaws too often. I became a feminist when I was 14 years old. I had a teacher, who was the first official feminist I had ever met, ask my class if anyone was a feminist. Of course, no one stood up. He then said, Stand up if you believe women deserve equal rights. Naturally, everyone stood up. He then said, You are a feminist. It was a really powerful, mind-blowing moment for me. A switch went on in my head, and I was like, Oh, <laughs> well, duh. Then that must mean pretty much everyone is a feminist. And I was pretty much right. I mean, I grew up in the 90s. There was never a more girl power era than that. This leads me back to my atheism. See, when I was a kid, I was an ultra-conservative, born-again Christian-style follower of the faith. But one day, I went online and discovered Encyclopedia Dramatica. I typed in the word Christian in the search bar and read the results. I don't remember the page exactly, but it had Venom Ving X and Thunderfoot videos. I remember my very first atheist video. It was in the Why Do People Laugh at Creationist series. I watched the entire series until I was up to date. I didn't know anything about evolution or even how the world could exist without God. It was mystifying to me. Eventually, I felt I had learned enough and started to read the comments. And I eventually felt I had learned enough about this new thing to be able to defend it logically. Eventually, I was proven very wrong. I actually study religion in college. I have a master's in philosophy and religion with an emphasis on Christianity. And what I learned there showed me that before I didn't know anything at all. I didn't know about Pascal's wager or who Richard Dawkins was. I just didn't know. And when I learned enough to realize how, well, stupid I was, I was embarrassed of myself and of a lot of other new atheists. When you learn something new, you are just so amped up about it. You want other people to know about it too. And you can't understand how they can't appreciate your brilliance. Why can't they understand that Yahweh is a tyrannical bully? Can't they see the beauty in the world around us? How can they not understand how terrifying it is to not know how a person can be moral without God? Why can't these people just understand? The answer is because honestly, you don't understand either. You don't understand the arguments that are being presented to you. You don't see the bigger picture behind the assumptive questions. All you know is what you heard repeated by other people. You haven't internalized anything. You're just making noise and pissing people off. And I think that's what's going on with modern feminism. The internet has been an amazing catalyst for different movements. The sad part is most people don't take the time to understand these causes. They just take the top layer and say, That's good enough! And make their own opinions. This is true for both sides. People who want to be feminists don't really understand how feminism is about equality for genders. People against feminism don't understand why feminism is good for both genders. And it's because all they see are raging she-demons who want to make men suffer. This is true for both sides. Women want empowerment. Men are afraid of that empowerment. And it's honestly because neither side understands what equality will really bring. I am a feminist. 
and I have been one long enough to be embarrassed for our new supporters. I am happy we have more momentum, but I hope we take a step back and see how much more harm than good is being caused by screaming at everyone who disagrees with us.